Heavy protests rocks ocean states over governor's sack. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. Dozens of residents of Ocean State trooped out on Saturday to protest the verdict of the tribunal, which sacked Governor Ademola Adeleke. Recall that the tribunal sitting in Oshogbo Ocean State on Friday sacked Adeleke, the People's Democratic Party PDP's candidate, after it said it found sound proof of overvoting. It also ordered the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to immediately withdraw the certificate of return issued to Governor Adeleke and present it to the predecessor, Buega Oyitola. Despite the plea for calm, this morning, some major roads in Oshobo and Elisha were blocked by protesters, said to be unhappy with the decision of the election petition tribunal that sacked Adeleke as the governor. The protesters who prevented vehicular movement along Oshobo Ikinu Road also blocked Bogon Oshobo Road to traffic and beat up many commercial motorcyclists that were operating in the town. While many commuters were stranded and had to trek long distances to their destination, many businesses, business places did not open to customers over the fear of attack by the hoodlums. At Igbono area, the convoy of the State Commissioner of Police, Kainde Longe, was stopped by some people, believed to be members of the Transport Management Committee. At Elisha, the popular roundabout was blocked to traffic, forcing commuters to take alternative routes to their various destinations. So this is the news coming from Oshun State this morning, and which the governor that's well the governor sitting governor still is Ademola Deleke made an announcement yesterday evening as um, hours after the tribunal courts make the declaration of sacking him he said that you know people should be calm and um, they were going to do um, they were going to appeal the case and there shouldn't be any kind of protest or you know chaos and everything but unfortunately the next day today Heavy um, security concerns have been raised in, especially Oshobo, Oshun State Capital. And a lot of people, while some people are rejoicing that Oyetela came back, some people are really sad that, you know, people are trying to, you know, not make Ademola Adeleke enjoy his tenure as the governor of the state. Ademola Adeleke, who is Davido's uncle, has enjoyed massive support from people. In fact, a lot of people voted for him, not for his party, PDP. I think this is the new t tide going around in Nigeria now. For the very first time, a lot of people are choosing to vote personality, you know, and he's the kind of man that has a lot of charm. He's a hot stepper, you know what I mean? When you mean person sabi dance. Yes, he's a gifted um, dancer, and he never ceases to amuse his people, his loved ones, with his ever jovial nature and since he came to power he's been making some decisions which does not go down well with a lot of people in the state because as people talk and say he's trying to block a lot of ways within the chop and of course the people that fall into this category would be so excited with this verdict by the tribunal courts for him to be sacked as governor and for the former governor Iyetola to be sworn in as the you know governor but he has said he's going to appeal the case and I think he has, I think he received 21 days or they're about to appeal the case. And um, we believe the justice will be done in this case, but a lot of people are not happy saying, what is it again? Well, um, Ashiwa Jibola Metinubu has said something about this, saying that this ruling of the tri tribunal is about, is could be likening to um, light over darkness. Ooh, and people are like, okay. Because, as we all know, Yetola is his cousin. And the success of Yetola or coming to power was majorly, you know, the effort of Ashiwa Jubola and Met Sinombu. So we are going to wait for, you know, the next step that is going to take to appeal the case in the court of law. However, I don't think our people should get involved in any kind of protest that will lead to destructions of life and property. As you've heard earlier, that the commissioner of police... Of that state was also stopped you know so when things like that start affecting them you know the 
privilege in our society, then they will realize that it's not business as usual. However, conflicts does not solve anything. It just leads to loss of lives of innocent people. It leads to loss of property and businesses in an economy that is already ash to a lot of Nigerians. So that's the update from Oshun State. We just hope that the security operators will be able to curb whatever issues that are on ground for people to keep calm as the as Ademola Adeleke has advised in the podcast yesterday, you know, Nigeria will work again and we hope that the judiciary will be able to do the needful in this situation. What's your opinion on this? Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. To our new subscribers, thank you so much for joining. For existing subscribers, thank you for always being there. We hope you stay. See you in the next video. God bless Nigeria. Please stay safe out there. Have a lovely day and bye for now.